Hello everyone, in my last video when I showed you an example of this uh, on HoverThing, uh, what, after I recorded that video, I thought back and was wondering, whether, was wondering whether that explanation was actually good enough for you to understand. So this is, so I'm going to quickly show you the website I created, or I played around with, which actually used this about thing. So this is it. So it's got this about thing, it's got the home, it's got works, and it's got contacts. And for each one, when it hover over is it, this image changes from the light grey uh, coloured font text or image to the darker one. So when I'm going over it, it looks really neat and better. And when I actually click on it, it goes to the specific uh, part of the page. And that's all I need. Okay, uh, let's open this up and put it to the right and there we go in this video we are going to be looking at uh, on mouse down on mouse up and on focus uh, on mouse down and on mouse up is basically like halfway in between on hover and on click or on mouse over and on click basically whenever you're putting your mouse down on something it's going to activate something and when you put your mouse up it's going to do another thing so let's create a simple h1 because that's easy to see with the big bold text and let's just say hello and give it an id of text okay and let's create two functions again function uh, mouse down no arguments and let's say document dot get element by id and inside our brackets let's say text uh, dot what are we changing well let's change our text in HTML equals and let's change it to uh, you're holding me down cool and let's create another function because it's similar to the first one I'm going to be lazy and copy paste and change slightly on mouse up document dot get element by ID text dot in HTML and let's change this to you let me go cool so let's save a work refresh we have this uh, text called hello and when I press down on it it's going to change the text and when I lift our, my mouse up it's going to change text again so let's click it nope oh sorry of course I wrote the function but I didn't write anything onto my h1 tag Oh, I mean stupid okay so let's write on mouse down equals and call the function mouse down and on mouse up equals and let's call mouse up hopefully I'm not going to make any more stupid mistakes and refresh and let's click down there we go you're holding me down and when I let go you let me go and when I refresh it goes back to the original text like so pretty neat now I'm going to show you another one called on focus now when actually it's easier to show you and then explain than explain than show you so let's create a text box like first name and let's create an input type equals text and we could give it an ID of box like that and then what happens is it's going to create this simple box and when we are writing forms in some websites like when we click on that form uh, by default on my Mac Google Chrome at least it's going to give this uh, nice light blue colored effect on the borders of this but what if we wanted something else something more like change this background color to something saying that you clicked on this specific uh, uh, text box we are going to do that now let's create a function called uh, on hover no on focus sorry and no arguments and inside here let's say uh, document dot get element by ID and we gave it an idea box uh, dot in a 
no, no dot style, which is what we looked at in my previous video on uh, HTML DOM CSS dot style dot background ground, and we are going to change the color to yellow. And I'm not going to make the same mistake. Let's create our on focus here. On focus equals and just say on focus and refresh. Oops, uh, that is not working again. And I need to look at why uh, box dot style the background. Let's try changing this. There we go. Apparently, I can't have the same name on focus as this uh, name of the function as the actual attribute. That's why in my previous uh, examples, I changed this uh, second word to a capital letter because it's case sensitive. Okay, I refresh and I've got this normal text field and when I click on it, I'm going to focus it, which is why it's going to change the background color to yellow. I could change this to, I don't know, like red and stuff. However, that's not really going to look good. You can play around with the color using the hex color picker thing. Just Google it and you'll find a good color for you. But I suggest like a light blue, light yellow, light greenish color. Nothing too bright like red. Okay, so that was uh, on mouse down, on mouse up and on focus. I think that's it for my uh, DOM events video in my actually that's not it we still have uh, we still need to look at how to create new HTML elements using DOM and how to remove elements using DOM so we've got two videos to go and after that we are going to do something fun with it so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later